Welcome back. And Melissa Benache is the mini cupcake mogul who created Baked by Melissa. Remember when she did these like ATMs with cupcakes? Oh, yeah. These were so the sick. The rage. And yes. they're all over New York City. Yes. She's got locations everywhere. I can eat a whole line. <laughs> I don't know. She's got a new cake book and cake. Uh, what cakes now they have? Thank goodness I don't have to eat all those little small little cupcakes. And she's here. It's uh, Melissa. And Hi. cakes by Melissa. Nice Thanks. to see Welcome. you. So, uh, really, how many should you eat? You could have like <laughs> five to seven. Everything's under 50 calories. The whole point is that you could try every flavor without the post dessert Wait, guilt trip. All oh. the mini cupcakes are under? Every, yeah. Really? Everything is under 50 calories. It's basically like fat free. And, uh, you know, there are some family members that are very happy that you do a delicious gluten-free line as well. We do gluten-free and our bite-sized double-stuffed macarons are also inherently gluten-free. That's our Thanksgiving offering, actually. We did an exclusive flavor for Thanksgiving. This little orange so one? What are the different this one's flavors? Nutella. It has, it's the stuffed black, with this Nutella. One this and one right here? Nutella icing. If you go to bakedbymelissa.com, you can order our Thanksgiving box, mm. and then that way nobody has to bake for dessert. We also have these tie dye cakes Talk available. Talk about the tie dye cake. So starting so Monday, cool. you can walk into any to. one of our store locations and purchase this tie dye layer cake, or you could go to bakedbymelissa.com. What was the inspiration today for and that, purchase Melissa? It in advance. <laughs> I love tie dye. Um, the company started with our tie dye cupcake, uh -huh. and I wrote a book called Cakes by Melissa, and it takes you through my creative process. The point is to inspire you to bake outside the lines, mix and match different recipes to create your own favorite flavor combinations based on what you and the people you love love to eat. That's what I do at Bake by Melissa. So, for example, this cupcake, the Nutella, mm -hmm. is I just had one. also really a delicious. cake. <laughs> so, in the book, you have all of the Bake by Melissa flavors that you already know and love, and I've taken them and made them into different types of vessels, like cupcakes, layer cakes, bunt pans, you name it. And this way, you can get baked by Melissa in the company of so your So share with us how you you got from basically zero to sixty. I mean, <laughs> how, you started very very small, right? In your home, or I was fired from my job in advertising. I was an assistant media planner. I love to bake. I baked my tie dye cupcakes for everyone and anyone. So the day I got fired, I went to my brother's office. He said, "Go home, bake your cupcakes. We'll start a business out of it." I listened. I knew I had to take control of the way I was feeling that day. I. 150 cupcakes the night I was fired, surrounded myself with people who had skills that I didn't, and today uh -huh. we have almost 14 retail locations. Wow. And We're opening still? on the Upper East Side next week. We're oh, very wait, wait, exciting wait, wait, wait. on 86th Street between 2nd and 3rd. Fantastic, yes. congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. And your much. brother's still a part of the operation? Yeah, I, he's my best friend, and he's always going to be a part of it, oh. absolutely. I have to ask you this yeah. only because I have uh, food allergies, Yes. and it's always on everyone's of mind. Course. I'm allergic to tree nuts, but for people who, you know, we just had uh, a news story with a young little boy who, um, you know, had um, unfortunately eaten something he should not have. It was allergic. So I'm just wondering how do you also, because I'm sure you use nuts and some fun things at we times. Do. We do. We use peanut butter and we have Nutella again. So what we do is our all of our gluten-free product is baked in its own facility, which also isn't nut free, but we have this party safe pack that doesn't include any nut flavors and okay. everything is baked in one facility. But, you know, if sure you want separate, we have that as Okay, well. that's, good right, that's good to so, know. So, Melissa, are we going to make a cake today? So, we're going to make a cake. So, this is my tie-dye cake. It's just like this, but you can make it all different colors. So, like, for example, for Thanksgiving, if you want to do, like, yellow and orange and red tie-dye cake, you could do that. There's actually a tie-dye tutorial in Cakes by Melissa. That's how the book starts, of course. Okay. Oh, that's good. And, and the book really takes you through my creative process. So, it starts with the vanilla cake recipe. And by adding one or two different ingredients, the possibilities are endless. And there's like over 50 different cake recipes, all based off of my vanilla cake recipe. But Melissa, let me ask you something. I love to cook, but I'm afraid to bake. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it is. Maybe because I'm afraid it's going to fall, it's not going to rise. You know, there's a million things. And the measurements have to be so right. precise. Right, it's not going to be moist. in the kitchen as you are in real life. Aww. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? You'll burn it and you'll... The first time I ever put glaze on anything was mm -hmm. because I... I, I burnt it and it looked ugly, Where'd you learn so. how to bake? <laughs> Who inspired uh, you? I was so fortunate to grow up with a family of, of like my two parents and my brother empowered me to do anything I set my mind to. 
Um, and I think that's the key to life is surrounding yourself with people who like build you up and support you because we all go through times where we don't feel super confident. Mm -hmm. And anyway, so this is this is the glaze. How cool is that? It looks it's like, gorgeous. It's yeah. crazy. So I'm kind of going to recreate that right now. The glaze is really complicated, guys. It's whole milk and confectioner sugar. That's tough. <laughs> and I do give you measurements in the book, but that was probably the harder and part. And what's this for me. magic ingredient? This is yellow food coloring. Okay. And then I'm going to use some red food coloring because yellow and red make orange. Oh, there you yes. go. So it'll turn into that. It's so great. This tie dye cake is the most exciting thing that has happened because I've always wanted to have a tie-dye layer cake in our <laughs> stores and now you could actually buy it on bakebymelissa.com for pre-order and pick up in our stores only and then starting next week to help you celebrate Thanksgiving you could just walk into any one of our stores and get it and I really can't wait it's like the prettiest most photogenic cake I've ever it's seen. It's very pretty. So Melissa, I'm, I'm wondering, you ever run into the, that person who fired you at the advertising company? Oh, of course. I mean, I'm so grateful to them. And it wasn't the right fit for me. I wasn't passionate about the work I was doing there. You know what? They did me such a favor. Do they See, come and buy your, great way to <laughs> look buy your cupcakes and your cakes? If I wasn't fired from that job, I might still be there, and that would just be a shame for all you of us. Have found I out. Absolutely. Yes. I'll lead <laughs> to that. All right, so the new cookbook is out right now. It's called Cakes by Melissa. And, of course, check Ooh. out. She's got new stores, including one on the Upper East Side. Opening. It's opening next week. We're Woo! so excited. Congratulations. That's, That's going to be a little too close us. for comfort. <laughs> well, it's so easy. Thank you, Melissa. Thank so nice to see you.